Hey, this is Jamie from Stonemaier Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in a game called Ruisu. Um, this is a game from Taiki Shinzawa, and it is a trick-taking game. Um, and it offers more information to players than I've seen, I think, in any other trick-taking game that I've played. It reminds me a little bit of the game Pococo, if you've played that. The way Ruisu works is that you are given a hand of cards, and you get to see what's on those cards, as you would in, in any normal trick-taking game. You can see what's on those cards. You'll sort those cards so that uh, they're sorted by color and so that you always have the higher numbers on one side, which is crucially important. In fact, there's a card in the game, somewhere in this box, that, uh, that you can slide into your hand of cards to show uh, that this is the high side of your hand. So you'll sort those cards, and then you'll actually pass your entire hand to the player on your left, the right, it doesn't really matter, um, but we'll say player on the left. You'll pass your hand over to them, and when they receive the hand, they will receive it, well, I'll give you it from your perspective, they'll receive it like this. So they will only see the backs of the cards. Um, and so the, that means the front of the cards is facing all other players. So for the rest of the game, when you play out, or for the rest of the round, when you play out this trick, you are looking at my, my, you, if this is your hand of cards, you are seeing this, you're seeing the colors of the cards and you know the order of, uh, of how high they are to how, how low they are, but you don't know exactly what cards do we have in your hand. However, that also means that you get to see what's in all other players' hands. You get to see this information that all other players have. So if you look across the table and see that I have the, the blue six here and the blue one, and you have a few, few blue cards in your hand, um, as you play those blue cards, you'll be able to guess pr for, with pretty good accuracy what cards you, you actually have in your hand. There are some cards removed from each uh, round of the game, so you don't know exactly perfect information, but you have a lot of information. So you, again, I'll recap, you can see the backs of the cards, so you can see the colors of the cards, you can see the order they're in, and you get to see what all other players have in their hand. I love all this. I mean, it's a little zany that you have this much information in a trick-taking game. In many trick-taking games, the only information you have is the cards that you have in hand and the cards that have been played already. But in this game, you have almost, not quite perfect information, but pretty close to perfect information as to what all other players have. And when you play a card, you are giving it your best guess as to as to what card you are playing. Um, it's just an interesting dynamic. It's just different uh, and, and a, a little unique to have this much information in a trick-taking game. And I thought it was pretty audacious to do that. Reminds me a little bit of, I mentioned Picoco. There's also Nine Lives, which I haven't talked about yet, but I played it. I have a video about it. But in Nine Lives, you do get to see the colors of the cards. And this is also the case in actually in my game, Viticulture, which is not a trick-taking game. But in Viticulture, you get to see the colors on the backs of the cards. So I think that's something that um, I, I always try to remember as a designer, that, that the backs of the cards can have information for other players. You don't have to give them perfect information, but you can give them some information. It just so happens that in this game, that's what you're looking at. The, the backs of the cards are for all other players to see are the actual cards themselves. So yeah, that's my favorite mechanism. There's a sheer amount of information available to players in Ruisu. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Or if you can think of any other games, um, obviously there's Hanabi that has, uh, where you get to see what all other players have, but not yourself. That's a cooperative game. Um, if you think of any other games where you get to see what other players have, what information they have, and they have limited inf information, let me know about those games in the comments below. Thanks.